What's up, loyal fans? I'm uh, Captain Rex Whitcamp. I'm here in the kitchen, hunkering down. <laughs> like most of you inside, just gonna do uh, some things to pass the time. And uh, right now we had some uh, pretty hot uh, yellowtail snapper bite, so we're gonna we're gonna do some cooking. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you how I do it. I like to start off with a cast iron skillet. This one was uh, purchased at a flea market, and I. Uh, What do you call it when you make it new? Re renovate it? Not really the right word. Anyhow, uh, clean this uh, skillet up and it's pretty much my staple pan in the kitchen. Start off with a little canola oil. Bam, bam. Heat that up. I like to get the pan really hot first, just quickly with on high until the oil heats up. And then I get the fish and put it in there and then turn the heat down so the pan stays nice and hot. All right, now that I got the pan nice and hot, get some minced garlic, a couple uh, nice spoons of uh, some butter. Start sauteing the pan a little bit. You can tell how it's cooking off. The pan's a little bit too hot. I'm gonna turn the heat down. In this segment for the yellowtail snapper fillets, what I did is went ahead and take these uh, these nice fillets and made little cutlet sizes, just small pieces here. That way they're easy to put in the pan and easy to flip over, and they cook really well. All right, so for all of you trying to make cooking shows at home, just make sure you press the record button. <laughs> I just did a whole segment, and it wasn't recording. This uh, section of fish here, there's small sections, small pieces of fillets. Started off with a couple of seasonings here. Badia completes his own seasoning, and also the Chef Paul Prudhomme's black and red fish, so that's a little bit of a difference in flavor. As you can see, this fish starting to turn white. The little pieces on the uh, on the outside. It cooks really fast under a hot skillet, so you gotta turn these quickly. You don't wanna overcook the fish. Little fish nuggets. It's absorbing all that garlic. A bit of butter. And that's about the right temperature there. I only have this on like five and a half, six. And if you remember, I got that pan, the skillet, really hot to begin with. Then turned it down, and when I put the fish in, turn it right back up to get the right temperature. You want it to sizzle, want it hot, but you don't want it, you don't want it to scold the fish and stick to your pan. So a little bit of oil in there, a little bit of garlic, get all those flavors working. I like to set up my, my plate here just with a, a paper towel on it just to soak that the pan uh, oil up and then I'll roll it off onto another pan when it's ready. You gotta kind of monitor these pieces on. Obviously this pan on the inside is a little hotter. These pieces cook a little faster. So I'm gonna move some of the ones from the outside, move them to the inside. And some from the inside, move them to the outside. Every pan's gonna be different. But uh, the goal is to cook it hot and fast, but not overcook it on these uh, delicate fish fillets. This is uh, Florida Keys Yellowtail Snapper. Super fresh, caught last night and the night before. Just delicious. You start to get all the flavors there. And once it's all the way cooked, all the way through, you can just move it over to your plate. So now we're just going to plate those up. And I like to start taking the pieces out that have obviously cooked the fastest, leaving the ones that still got a little bit to go. Leaving those in there. Got to be selective here. Take off the ones that have already finished cooking. And again, you want to take them out before they cook too much, and then they start to get overcooked and rubbery. You really want a light, you want to preserve that light texture of this fresh filet. Even though it's cooked, you don't want to overcook it. So not too long, two minutes, one or two minutes each side, and then monitor it. And now you got all that good seasoning right there in the pan. 
and you can start another batch. I like to go ahead and give it just another little blade of, uh, well, <laughs> not that blade, another little blade of butter, just to kind of coat the bottom of the pan, you don't want it to stick. Sometimes I get a little bit of the, uh, the other seasoning, the prudhommes, and I blacken the bottom of the pan just with the seasoning, and that's going to be perfect. Throw these pieces in here. This pan is about the perfect temperature for fish. Not too hot. You gotta be careful if that pan gets dry. It'll start to burn your fish. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. Let that run down through. And now it's just gonna soak up all those flavors. Good cast iron skillet is perfect for cooking fish for anything but you just kind of kind of wiggle these around make sure they don't stick to your pan you can move them around through all those seasonings these are really small pieces so these are going to cook really easy really quickly hot and fast but not too long all right another little secret in our kitchen what we like to do is uh we eat a lot of tacos, so what we made is a little, we call it the taco bus. It's just a, you know, a plastic little bin where you keep all your taco essentials in there. We got some fresh tomatoes. Sometimes we have a, an onion, you cut it up, we put it in the same little, this little bus. Get some sour cream in there. My wife likes the uh, guacamole salsa. Um, I like the, uh, the regular paste. Sometimes I load that up. Everything you need for the tacos, you just cook your fresh dish off. Of course, you got your, your tortillas or your hard shells, some shredded cheese, everything you need. And this is the quick, easy meal, fresh and healthy for any time of day, five times a day around here. We eat a lot of tacos. <laughs> so, there you go. Two minute meal, fresh fish, Captain Rex Get Camp. Hope you enjoyed. Go put some fish and take some pictures and post up your tacos, will you? All right.